हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल फॉर द सोल्यूशन ऑफ सच मोर प्रॉब्लम्स फ्रॉम हेबल स्टेटिक्स नाउ द प्रॉब्लम से इज दैट द ऑटोमोबाइल हैज अ मास ऑफ टू मेगा ग्राम एंड सेंटर ऑफ मास इट जी डिटरमाइन द टोविंग फोर्स एफ रिक्वायर्ड टू मूव द कार इफ द बैक ब्रेक्स आर लॉक्ड एंड द फ्रंट व्हील्स आर फ्री टू रोल so the back wheels will slide and the front wheels will rotate so the friction will be applied at the back back wheels right so the mass is given in grams so we can say that the mass is 2 into 10 raised to the power 6 grams and in kgs we can write that the mass will be if we divided by 10 raised to the power 3 so then we can write that the mass is 2 into 10 raised to the power 3 kgs and we can write that the weight is 2 into 10 raised to the power 3 times 9.81 so if i write this 10 raised to the power 3 as kilo so then we will have this weight in kilo newtons right so 2 into 9.81 is 19.62 so 2 into 9.81 this gives me 19.62 kilo newton so the weight is 19.62 kilo newton and this weight is going to act at that point g vertically downward so we can write that this is that weight which is 19.62 kilo newton now at b since the brakes are applied at the back so at b we will have the friction force which will be acting in the opposite direction to this towing force and similarly uh, we will have that uh, normal uh, force that is applied by the surface on the rear wheels so this is let's say and b and this is fb and here we will have the normal force from the surface as well this is an a and as we are required to determine the towing force f required to move the car right so we have to find this force f just to impend just to start the motion so when when we are talking about just the impending motion then this fb will be the maximum friction that the surface can offer to this rear wheels so then that maximum friction is always equal to mu s times this and b so we can write that this fb is mu s and mu s is given which is 0.3 so i will write that this is 0.3 times and b now if i apply the summation of forces along x equals to 0 and if this is our positive direction so to apply this equation first we have to resolve this towing force into its component so it will have two components it will have one component this one will be the cos component and it will have one component like this this one will be the sin component right so now if we apply the summation of forces along x so as we can see that this point 3 and b is acting in the positive direction this is 0.3 and b minus this cos component so i will write minus f cos of 30 degrees and this will be equal to 0 since we have only these two forces which are acting uh, along the x direction if this is our positive x and y direction so this is equal to 0 and from this equation i can say that point 3 and b is equal to f cos of 30 degrees or we can say that and b equals to if i divide cos of 30 by point 3 so cos of 30 divided by 0.3 so we will get and b in terms of that force f so and b is 2.887 2.887 2.887 now if we apply the summation of forces along the y axis is equals to 0 and if this is our positive direction so as we can see that this and this and b is acting in the positive y direction so i will write plus and b and this and a is acting in the positive y direction so i will write plus and a and this sin component of f is acting in the positive y direction so i will write plus f sin of 30 degrees and this weight is acting vertically downward so you will write minus 19.62 
and this will be equal to 0. And I can bring this to the other side, so we will have the equation like this. So now we know NB in terms of F. So let me write that NA here. This is that NA plus NB and NB is 2.887F. So I will write in place of NB, this is 2.887F. So now we can add up both of these. So NA is equal to, so we will add up and sign of 30. So if, if we take F common from both of these terms, so we will have 2.887 plus sine of 30. So this gives me 3.387F, 3.387F equals to 19.62. So let's say this is our equation 1. Now if I apply the summation of moment about point B equals to 0, so as we can see that this NA is going to produce the clockwise moment, right? The counterclockwise moment is positive. So this NA is going to produce the clockwise moment. So we will write minus NA. And the moment arm of this NA from that point B is 1 plus 1.5. So this is 2.5. So we will multiply it with 2.50. Similarly, this uh, cost component of this force F is going to produce the counterclockwise moment about that point B. So I will write plus and this is f cos of 30 degrees and the perpendicular distance of this cos component from that point b is 0 0.3 so i will multiply it with 0 0.3 or i can write this as 0 0.3 f cos of 30 degrees so i will write this as 0 0.3 0 0.3 f cos of 30 degrees Similarly, this sign component is going to produce the clockwise moment about that point B. So I will write minus, and this is F sine of 30 degrees, and the perpendicular distance of this sign component from that point B is 1.5 plus 1. So this is 2.50 plus 0.75. So this is 3.25. 2.50 plus 0.75 this gives us. 3.25, right? So I will multiply it with 3.25. So 3.25F. And now the weight is going to produce the counterclockwise moment about that point B as well. So I will write plus 19.62. And the moment arm of this weight from that point B is 1.5. So I will multiply it with 1.5 meters. And this is equal to 0. So I can write this as minus 2.50 and A plus I can take F common from both of these. So if I write F outside, so we will have the equation is F 0 0.3 cos of 30 degrees minus 3.25 sine of 30 degrees plus 19.62 into 1.50. So let me multiply this. 19.62 multiply by 1.50 this gives me 29.43, 29.43 and we can add this, this is 0 0.3 cos of 30 minus 3.25 sine of 30. So this gives us minus 1.36. So let me write minus 2.50 and A minus 1.365 f and this is equal to 0 or we can say that this will be equal to minus 29.43. Now if I divide this whole equation by uh, 2.50 so we will have minus n a and this is 1.365 divided by 2.50 so this gives me minus 0 0.546. I'm only dividing these coefficients by 2.50. So the sign will remain the same. So this is 0 0.546 F equals to 29.43 divided by 2.50. So this gives me 11.772 minus 11.772. So let's say this is equation 2. Now, if I add equation 1 with equation 2, so let me write equation 1 here. So, this is plus Na plus 
3.387F equals to 19.62. So now if I add this, so this will cancel out and we will add this. So this is uh, minus 0 0.546 plus 3.387. This gives me 2.841F, 2.841F and this is equal to minus 11.772 plus 19.62. So this gives me 7.848, 7.848. Now we can find that F, so F will be equal to this 7.848 divided by 2.841. So I will divide this answer by 2.841 so this gives me an a 2.762 2.762 kilonewton similarly we can find an a and an b so and b is uh, 2.887f so let me find that and b here so and b is 2.887 into f 2.762 so i will multiply this answer with 2.887 this gives me an b which is 7.975 7.975 kilonewton is an b similarly we can find an a if i use this equation so from this equation we can write that an a is equal to 19.62 minus 3.387 f and f is now known which is 2.762 so from this we can find an a 19.62 minus 3.387 into 2.762 so this gives me an a 10.26 so an a is 10.265 kilonewtons so i will write an a 10.265 kilonewton Similarly, and B comes out to be 7.975 kilonewton. And similarly, that towing, towing force which is required to initiate the motion, impend the motion, so that F is equal to 2.762 kilonewton. So, this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope uh, this will help you in your learning. Kindly subscribe my channel and like this video if you people want me to solve such more problems from Hibler statics.